This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Janet West. Good morning. I'm Janet West from Broadcast Beat Magazine, and we're on day three of IBC 2015. I'm with the Pixel Stand and Neil Berry, who's EVP Commercial for Europe, Middle East and Africa. How are you surviving so far at IBC? Good. No, it's been very busy, but no, it's a very exciting show. Okay. Neil, tell me, for somebody who isn't familiar with Pixel, what could they expect to see on the show IBC and what's new and exciting? Yeah, so, I mean, Pixel, we're all about helping our customers for over a decade building successful online videos. Okay. And we've worked with all different types of customers, um, from AT&T, Power and All Their Universe Solution, to Liberty Global, uh, which we recently made a press announcement about extending their Horizon Go platform to uh, multiple European countries. So we're really helping our customers um, really get over one of the biggest hurdles um, which is how to successfully build an online business. Um, and we fit, there's four pillars to how we do that, okay. um, which makes us uniquely different to some of the other people here. And what um, are those four pillars? Those four pillars is really strategic services. Okay. So that's understanding how you actually create your monetization plan okay. um, and how that monetization plan is going to bring you to profitability. Um, and that might be looking at your content strategy, it might be helping create the business model. We've done this for 10 years, so we know all of the variables that you put into your business model, which some that is somewhere over 250 variables, to make sure you plan out the future, um, as well as then understanding the demographic of your target customers. It's a very um, busy, crowded market, so you want to have consumer insights as to what the best offers are that are going to attract new subscribers. Mm -hmm. So that's strategic services. Then we have our underlying pixel palette set of video services and technology, and then we create the right video platform that maps onto their business requirements. Um, so that's the technology piece. But more importantly, there's no one size that fits all videos. So we then typically always have to customize our solution to fit their requirements. So you have to have a very powerful, very experienced professional services team to make that happen. And then the last element is how do you manage all that? Once it's, uh, it's op um, operational, then you've got to have a mission critical way to manage all of the services around your OTT service. And that's our managed services capability. So we bring all those four pillars together for our right. customers. It's pretty unique. So a company that wants to start and set up an online service, what are the main problems that they have initially and how are you addressing those problems? It's always about the business plan. Okay. It's always about what is their monetization strategy. Are, are they, whether it, and it's also mixing, are they looking at AVOD or transactional um, pay-per-view or are they looking at SVOD? And have they thought about all the different cost base? Have they thought about what are they going to do from a marketing perspective to drive the acquisition of new clients? Mm -hmm. um, have they thought about what their content strategy is? So it's really spending a lot of time with them to really understand all those different elements of how they see success in building their service. We're an integral part of that. That's the discussion that uh, always drives uh, a discussion one way or the other. One way is that we see it's gonna be profitable, so we wanna work mm -hmm. with them, or we actually can't see that they've got a profitable business case. And that's usually the biggest hurdle that most customers are facing when they're looking to take their new content to new audiences, or sometimes mm -hmm. there's a combination of both. And what's new, Neil, at the show? We've got a number of exciting new announcements, actually, new customers. So we're working, we just announced a global partnership with Endemol. Okay. Um, and Endemol are looking to um, go over the top directly uh, with their content to their audience. And um, a very exciting new global customer with Endemol Beyond. Um, and that's you know a, a sign of what's going on in the industry with a lot of content providers now creating a direct relationship with their audience and then bringing back control from YouTube and then syndicating back out to YouTube. And so Endemol are using our brand new MCN portal that we're also announcing at the show, uh, which is multi-channel network portal that enables content um, owners like Endemol um, to go over the top to their clients. Uh, MCN portal really gives you back control, gives you um, the ability to uh, recover all of your monetization options that you can't maybe don't have the flexibility today mm -hmm. to do that on YouTube, gives them their own owned and operated controlled platform. So that's one, one area is new. The other thing we're doing is 4K. 
uh, which is something that's that's really emerging in the marketplace and and lots of broadcasters are now looking at how do they provide that 4k experience for their consumers and and so we've done a proof of concept with Discovery Channel um, and we're showing and demonstrating that and that's got a lot of interest um, for some of the other broadcasters at the show. Neil that's very interesting thank you very much thank you. I'm on the Pixel stand and I'm Janet West with Broadcast Beat magazine.